Hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to Live at Lunch. My name is John Schaefer. It's so great that you're here, so great that you decided to uh, spend some of your lunch time with us. We really appreciate it. Of course, this show, what is it about? We are going to be highlighting uh, some of the amazing video content that all of the people at Harris County Public Library have been putting together, and that's available on uh, places like Facebook and YouTube, which, by the way, now would be a perfect time to go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe, and you definitely want to hit that little uh, that little bell at the beginning at the top up there. What that does is that no makes notifications, so uh, whenever we do go live, you'll be right there and you can join us as that happens. Oh, we have got a amazing show for you today. We're going to be doing some some mandala rock painting, which I'm very excited about. We've got some great guests. But before we do, I got a couple of quick announcements, a couple of things we want to talk about on Tuesday. May 25th at 7 p.m., we've got the Tycho Project. Uh, big rhythm, big drums. Uh, this is explosive drumming. Performance weaves modern and traditional Japanese Tycho together to present a diverse repertoire of show-stopping songs utilizing authentic instruments handcrafted in Japan. Performers share elements of their Japanese-American culture, and the show culminates with an unforgettable uh, participatory session recorded live and Q&A. Definitely want to check that out. And then the day after that, on Wednesday, May 26th at 6 p.m., we've got music live, Motown, and more with the SVK band. Uh, get your dancing shoes on. They're going to be playing in Motown and other 60s hits. So it'll be a lot of fun. That'll be live online May 26th, Wednesday, May 26th at 6 p.m. And then last but not least, next Friday at this time, we will be doing another live at lunch, a very special uh, keeping up with the AAPI, uh, uh, Asian American Pacific, Pacific Islander Month. We will be doing anime, all about anime. We'll be doing some uh, reaction videos, and I, and truth be told, know absolutely nothing about anime, so I can tell you it is going to be educational and interesting. Now then, um, let's go ahead and get into it. Our first guest, um, I'm really excited. Uh, she comes all the way from High Meadows, and we're actually at High Meadows Branch Library right now. She is a children's program specialist. She's kind of new to Harris County Public Library, and she's been making these really cool crafting videos, which is why we're going to be talking to her about some crafting. Let's go ahead and uh, let's show one of her uh, uh, her painting videos called Cherry Blossoms, which is available on YouTube right now. Julie, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining Hi. us. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, good. Um, all right. So right off the bat, we are going to be talking about mandala rock painting. Yes. What is it? So it's a spiritual and ritual symbol in Asian cultures. And there are two ways to interpret it. Externally, it's a visual representation of the universe. Internally, it serves as a guide um, in several practices that takes place in many Asian traditions like think about meditation okay and of course we're talking about this is kind of what it looks like right yeah we're gonna focus on the rock mandala but in hinduism and buddhism they believe that by entering the mandala and proceeding towards the center it serves as a guide for this cosmic process of transforming the universe from one of suffering to one of joy and happiness wow i thought yeah. i did not know there was quite that much to yeah. it so the exciting now now you told me to bring a rock and um I, uh, I brought my rock. Um, well, this, um... uh, well, it's good that there are various types of mandalas in different cultures for many purposes, like artistically and spiritually. And what's fun is there's, <laughs> there's it's not restricted to one medium. So if you think really hard, you can find them in many places, like architecture, sculptures, carvings, tattoos, uh, paintings. Tattoos? Do you tattoos. have a, you can get tat, mandala tattoos? Of course, anywhere. Are you going to get one? No, I'm glad I, I'm glad I went with the brick joke as opposed <laughs> to the mandala tattoo joke. That would have been a more expensive right? and a little more permanent. Um, okay, so we are going to uh, paint some mandala rocks yes. today. 
You did provide some of them with all the information, all the stuff we're going to need. Mm -hmm. Real quick, though, we also have another guest. Um, we're going to be a cut who's doing some mandala drawing. Uh, I just want to introduce her and let you know that she's doing some stuff right now. Let's talk to Jane. Jane Holday. Jane's the branch manager. Over Hi, Jane. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yes. Now, to make a mandala with with a uh, paper, you need a compass or something so you can make concentric circles like so. Oh, wow. And pencil. And okay. Then, yeah. And then you, if you elaborate inside each of the concentric circles with either petals or waves or triangles, you can make some really neat, neat patterns with it. Here's one that I made before. That's really neat. And I'm working oh, on wow. one right now. So as you guys are talking and everything, I'm going to be working on mine. I've got a little bit of a start on it with pencil. And once you do it with pencil, then you go over it with the Sharpie and then you fill it in with beautiful color. So oh, wow. I'll be working on this. And I know it looks really pretty. So I'll be All right, so on Jane, mine we'll be checking back. I'm pretty, pretty sure that my rock, which looks like this, my rock that looks like this now uh, will pretty soon look just like those pictures that you made. So thanks a lot, Jane. You get you get to drawing, and we'll come back to you in just a few minutes. Now then, let's go to let's get this started. Let's Are you started. ready? All I right. am ready. Um, it's not going to be as intricate as Jane's. We're just going to make it very simple. It's just rock painting. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you with all this. I was going to circles and dots. You cannot mess that up, right? Okay. You say that, but. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I have some examples. What we're gonna do is, it's all about circles, okay? Okay. Uh, the center is always a dot. Okay. Like the one of the biggest focus on mandalas because that shape is very important. So let me kind of go through tools that we're gonna use. I have chopsticks, paint brushes, the end of a pencil, and I don't think you have this, but I have a chapstick. Yes, anything that makes a circle. Right. So this is gonna be fun. So we can go ahead and just start. I'm gonna start by dotting the center. Right, let's do I'm it. I'm gonna go with the pencil. The and I should be doing this too as well. Yes. All right. Pick any bright, vibrant colors that you enjoy. All right. So the reason why the circle is so important is because the circle doesn't have a beginning or an end. It's free from dimensions, and that kind of represents the universe. Wow. Yeah. So it's so. full on circle of life. All right. <laughs> so I've got my uh, I've got my pencil eraser. And I just paint a, paint a circle. Yes, right in the center. You just dot it. I got it. All okay. right. Sweet. So I'm gonna place it to the side. And we're gonna. I'm gonna might go with the Q-tips. I thought. <laughs> what did you do? I thought when I saw the Q-tips, I thought that was like some. You were like, "Hey, man, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but maybe if we subtly put some Q-tips, just clean out your ears yeah. a little bit." You're saying no. Okay. So I got the Q-tips, what do we do now? We're gonna take it, I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna okay. use orange, a little more vibrant. And I'm just gonna surround the yellow circle. All right. So, so the circle is being surrounded by more circles. I'm gonna go with green. Now, I'm picking green here. Does it matter what color? I mean, do they mean anything? Actually, they do. So you're going with green, you said? Yep. So green means nature, hope, and freedom. Nature, hope, and freedom. Mine is right. orange, so mine's courage and energy. So okay. that's cool. Now, mine kind of got a little, uh, they're kind of running together a little bit. Is that okay? No. <laughs> I'm going to add some more small circles. Okay. I like to stick with three colors per rock, but it's up to you. You can have fun with it. Three colors per rock. Yeah, I like having like, 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 but the mandalas, each shape has its own meaning as well. Wait, say that again. Maybe. Circles, but a lot of mandalas feature other shapes too. And with those shapes, they can come with different meanings. Okay. So, for example, a triangle, right? That means transformation. So, if you wanted to make a mandala painting by water, it would, it, would, uh, it would all be about. You could feature triangles. a lot of triangles, yes. Right. That's, that's, that's an idea. What about, what about I'm going to throw some shapes at you? 
Okay. Uh, what about a uh, what about a square? A square is balanced. Okay. That would not be what I would use. I would not use a square. Um, what about uh, what about what about like a hexagon or something really complicated like wow, that? That's gonna be a really hard one. Um, that's union of opposites. Union of opposites. Yes. So right now I'm not sure you see what I'm doing, but I'm going back to my yellow, which is what I was starting with, and I'm just gonna dot the outside of my orange. Oh wow. Okay. Kind of see what I'm doing. Like I hope you can kind of. Yeah, see yeah, yeah. That. Keep it up there in the camera. Let's. Uh... Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Where are you at? Just dotting work. I'm a. Uh... Mine kind of looks like it has some sort of like, <laughs> like skin disorder. Maybe like a like a. There you go. Like a lot of freckles, sort of. It's however you want to turn it. All right. That's All the whole right. point. It's fun. It's supposed to just help you like relax. It's meditative. It helps. Oh, you I'm relax. relaxed. I'm feeling. I'm feeling tremendously relaxed. Are you right like now. focused? <laughs> Being tranquil. I, I am. But speaking of tranquil and focused, mm -hmm. let's go to Jane. Jane, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Jane, are so you tranquil and focused? I'm very focused, very tranquil. Oh, wow. That's as far as I've wow. got. Wow. So, yeah. It's I can't hear you as well, Jane, but I'm, I'm very impressed with you, uh, uh, what you've done, accomplished there. Now, you, you just did that? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, all I'm right, all right. Well, let's come back here. Let's, That's uh, really impressive. Now that you're talking, okay, so there is a religious aspect to yes. Mandela pain, right? And it's, is that kind of how it, uh, in all seriousness, that's how it, uh, that's, is that the origin of it? That's yeah, it originated started? as a way to meditate and focus on their teachings. Okay. It has deep roots in Buddhism and Hinduism. Okay. But, but you don't, I mean, anybody can do it, right? Yeah. You don't have to. It's definitely more popular in Western cultures now. Um, you don't have to be religious. It's really good for therapy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was telling you earlier, see, I like to, uh, my hobby is uh, I like to do woodworking. Oh. And I've noticed, like, when I'm focused on what I'm doing, you know, out in the garage, I'm trying not to cut my fingers off. And so no matter what problems I had, I, you know, I stopped thinking about those so I can avoid cutting my fingers off you when you're working focused. saws and, you know, tools and stuff like that. So I'm guessing less the, less the danger to your fingers, this is kind of the same thing. Is that it? Yeah, it's very similar, except you have the risk of like chopping off your own finger. But again, your focus, you're being mindful and you're present. Exactly. And now after this, you can carve some mandalas into your woodwork. I could, there yeah, you go. That's, I, I, that's good, I like that. All right, um, speaking of crafting, now you, we're talking about the videos that you do here at uh, Harris County Public Library. Um, one of my favorite ones you do is where you kind of get a little, uh, a little, <laughs> I don't know if you call it crafting, but you make slime. That's, you make slime. I can say that crafting. That's crafting. Something. I think we have a, a, a clip of that. Let's take a look at uh, what it takes to make slime. Okay. You're going to need some baking soda, contact solution, shaving cream. Ooh, almost dropped that. And last but not least, some water. You're also going to need some measuring spoons, measuring cup, and a bowl to put everything inside. You can either go with a medium sized bowl or a very large one. I'm gonna go. All right guys, so it looks like my slime is about done. It's nice and fluffy, it's stretchy. It's everything I want in the slime. This is so fun. Not to mention, it smells really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, so <laughs> I gotta know, are there any practical applications for the slime you were just making? I would argue yes. It's like a stress reliever. Okay. Like a fidget. You know, okay. you can just keep kneading it, you feel a little antsy, you can just play with it. Don't you think so? <laughs> I, I just get, it seems like it's one of those things that like I would make and uh, if I was a kid and I would make that and my mom would be like, ha, ah, that's great, it stays outside, keep it outside. <laughs> not on the carpet. We, exactly, not on the carpet and that's exactly where it would be. All right, I'm going to check in. How's, how's this one looking right there? What do you, I, Let me uh, see. See yeah, I, so I, like, I like the pink. All right. What does pink mean to you? What do you think it means? 
you know, I, I'm going to say masculinity. It means uh, strength and masculinity. Um, no? It means sweetness and femininity and delicacy. I, you know, I, I, I thought that, but I didn't want to say that because you don't want I feel like the color. I think if I would have said that, then all of a sudden I would have been, you know, uh, I didn't want to, you know, and see, you know, you could, you know, what would be great now I'm thinking, uh, instead of like, uh, you know, uh, risking, uh, people's lives doing gender reveal parties, you could do a gender reveal mandala, you know, and you that could maybe paint it certain way. And you know, be really cool. What do you want? your kids to inherit in terms of personality traits could be based on the color and shapes too. But you want them to be courageous, right? Use yeah. some orange. Oh, wow. okay. Isn't see cool? What are some, all right, now go through, if you, if you have the colors, like what you could tell, tell us yes. which colors mean what, because I okay. think I would want to know that if I'm doing it. What colors mean so what? So let's start with white, which means purity. All right, purity. white, purity, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. sort of, yeah, got it. All Black right. is death and sadness, pain and mystery. Right. Kind of like self-evident, right? Gray is wisdom and calmness. Gray is wisdom and calmness, okay. Uh, green, I think we already talked about this, was nature, hope, and freedom. Blue is peace of mind and satisfaction. Okay. Uh, red is passion and energy. Yellow is sympathy and the sun. Yellow is sympathy, right here. I mean, yellow is sympathy. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I need on my, on my painting right here. Sympathy. Okay, go ahead. Uh, purple is wisdom and love for others. All right. Uh, gold is vitality. Gold and is vitality, all right. Silver is well-being. Silver is well-meaning? Well-being. Well-being. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go with pink this time. I'm going let's, with pink. Uh, let's check in with Jane. Jane, how you doing? Oh, wow. Okay. Now, what colors did you choose, Jane? I'm going to do Looks like uh, you got wow, black so and white right now. It's black and white right now, but I'm, I'm getting ready to color in just a minute. It's going to be fully done in just a minute. Uh, I wish I could hear you, Jane. I'm sorry I can't, but I'm just going to assume that you're saying that my my mandala painting is better than Julie's right now. That's what yes. I'm assuming you're saying. She's not in your head. No, she's not I'm sure you're saying that this right here is the most quality of all mandalas and that of course. I, I should be uh, graduating to you now. We're, we're, we're learning all about the different colors now. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, you're, you're going to pick a different, you got black and white going. Let's see if we can pick a color, Jane, and uh, we'll go with a theme on, on that one. I'm going to. Red. Are you going to move on to a new I'm going to pick another rock here. Oh, go ahead, Jane. I was going to say, I'm going to do red on mine. Think... What's red? Red. You're going with the red? Red? Okay. Um, and red, of course, means, uh, we know now. Passion, energy. Passion and energy, Jane. Yes. There you go. That's perfect for okay. you. All right. So, uh, kind of to switch that change gears a little bit here, I just want to make sure I mention another thing that you do, Julie, that's so awesome here. You are doing, you did a little program um, all about the Chinese New Year. Yes. And given that it is May, which is Asian American Pacific Islander Month, uh, uh, let's see if we can take a look at uh, a little bit of your story time about um, uh, Lunar Chinese Lunar New Year. Yes. Hi, today we're going to read The Great Race. It's about the story of Chinese zodiac animals. We're doing this in appreciation of Lunar New Year, which is February 12th. All right, let's begin. The Great Race by Christopher Kaur. Long ago in very ancient China, there were no years or days or hours. The sun rose and fell without anyone knowing how much time had passed, as there was no way of telling. One day, the Jade Emperor realized that he did not know how old he was. We must have a way of measuring time, he thought. So he gathered all the animals in the kingdom together and said, tomorrow there'll be a great race. The first 12 animals to cross the river will each have a year named after them. All the animals want to win this wonderful prize. I really like the, uh, uh, the graphics she used and how you uh, told the story. So. All right, with, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that has meaning and so the Chinese Lunar New Year, I, I admit I didn't know this and I learned this from your thing, it's, uh, it, it's not just one day. It's not like, no. every, it's not like you know, every January or you know, December 31st, you celebrate the New Year, is that correct? That is correct. It's, typically it falls from January 20th to February 20th. It's a very long holiday. Okay. Um, and the general name of it is just Lunar New Year okay. because many East, Asian country celebrates it, not only just China, but like Vietnam. 
South Korea, Singapore. So it's just so New Year. It's not, it's not specific to one place. That yes. Makes sense. I mean, it's most well known as Chinese New Year, but the more inclusive name is Lunar New Year. Okay. Because it goes with the whole first new moon of the lunar solar calendar. All right. Yeah. And I love that your story time had a really good story. I mean, the story was all about how, you know, uh, 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 there was all the different animals yeah. involved. <laughs> And I had no idea there was that much going on. And, I, you know, you can be born in a certain year. I think, you know what year, what, what, yeah. what is the animal of your... Uh... Mine is the ox, which is 2021's animal. Do you know your zodiac animal? I, I, I want to say it was the rooster. Okay. It could they, be, yeah. You know, I don't know <laughs> that they call it that, but... They do. They do? It's mm -hmm. the rooster. You're the rooster. That's what I am. Uh Exactly. Okay, let's check in on your painting. How are you doing? You, oh my gosh, you have painted so many. No, this is my example. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you, I was like, when no, did you, I what did you do? I made this one. It focuses on orange, red, and yellow. And okay. I was working on this one, but it looks like we're almost out of time. How about yours? Can you show me what you made? All right. So, well, first off, I, I worked on the rock, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. Uh, there we go. Let's see <laughs> get it here on the video. So, I, I was think like, it looks good. Like there. All right. But then I also, I, I couldn't resist. I had to. Had to work on the brick. When did you get so, a chance? I didn't even see you do that. that was, I mean, clearly I spent a lot of time on this. Wow. Well, what is that, that red line? What is that symbol? I didn't, you know, I was actually, what is that? What I, was trying, is that? I was trying to get it off the chopstick. <laughs> so that was more no like, a, that was more of me not, trying not to get paint on the <laughs> table was what that is, which I felt, I want you to know, relaxed me and made me feel at one with the table. And I was very mindful that yes. I was not making as much of a mess as I, as I thought. I yeah, would. and that's the whole point, right? It is the whole point. Speaking of which, let's go one more time. Jane, let's see what your, uh, let's see what your final product is. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> okay. Wow! Yeah. That looks it's so almost good. done. Oh, yeah. actually, I, we can hear you now, Jane. So that is beautiful. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. Um, can you <laughs> and you were showing some, of, I know you made some earlier. What were some of the, what, can, what are some of the ones that you made earlier? I made this one. That one's oh, wow. nice. But wait, if you want to go completely insane, which I did, you can get really fancy like like that. Move, move it up. There you go. Look oh, at my those. gosh. Wow. Yeah. How long did that yeah. take you, Jim? <laughs> A while. Or How long did Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I know. I went crazy. completely Jane, insane. I think. I, I'm I'm very impressed, Jane. I think you need to take that uh, get a gallery showing. Mm -hmm. I want to be your agent. I want to start selling those things for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane, for joining us. I appreciate you showing us all of your uh, your mandalas and your great example of how good they can look. And you know, you could hang those on my wall. I'd, I'd like I want some. I want to hang on my refrigerator and my wall. So save one for me. Um, okay. And of course, we talked mandala painting it has so many benefits um you know relaxation there's a lot mm -hmm. of history a lot of meaning in that from the shapes to the colors all of them have different things involved in it um now then let's real quick before we get out of here i want to uh, you have uh videos coming up we can yes. always find your videos so next week i am doing a korean story time where's, where's almani which is like where's grandma and also a craft it's gonna focus on the Dekchi origami game. Say that one more time. Dekchi. Okay. I'm, I might be butchering it, but I feel. And like that's it. origami. Yes, like that's... origami game. Okay, folding yeah. the paper. Paper fold. Okay. That's all you need. And tomorrow we're gonna have a mural art unveiling. If it doesn't rain, hopefully it'll go well. So it's okay. tomorrow from 10 to 2 p.m. Okay. And, and that's where is that? Here at High Meadows. Here at High Meadows Branch. Yes. Yeah, so definitely come. If it doesn't rain, let's just hope it doesn't rain. And lastly, uh, my coworker Jennifer is going to do cooking the books, the spice tales this summer. Cooking the books. Yeah, she's going to focus on different spices with the company cooking video. Okay. Not only that, she's going to include a take and make for the patrons to take home. There you go. And not an accounting video for those of you who are <laughs> looking for accounting videos. No, it's not what that is. Okay, guys. Hey, make sure you join us next Friday. This time we're gonna be talking a lot of anime. It's gonna be a lot of cons. So there'll be some cosplay. I'm pretty sure it'll be a, a it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be at 12:05 uh, next Friday. Also, we have the uh, the programs we talked about. For example, the SVK band playing Wednesday, May 26th at 6 p.m. That's live Motown music. You can just go to hcpl.net. Uh, also, you want to make sure you click like and subscribe on all those the Facebooks and the YouTubes. Get the notifications. And uh, one other promoter, I was going to think, what was I going to mention? Uh, oh, here we go. 
Uh, the Tyco Project, Big Rhythms, Big Drums, that's going to be on Tuesday, May 25th at 7 p.m. And I just touched this, so I now have Mandala on my <laughs> hand. So I think with that, it's probably time to go. Once again, thank you so much, Julie. We'll see you again. Thank you again, Jane. Thank we'll you. see you guys next, uh, next week, all right? Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, we did it! That was awesome. I have to finish it though.